Battle for Neighborville. It has been a hot minute, and I know it's been a hot minute because the audio is deafeningly loud. Please turn that down. Jeez. Alright, I think that might be better. That was a... Oh, sens sens sensitivity is horrible, too. Let me, let me fix that. Uh... Yeah, sure, that's... That's probably fine. So today we're just playing some Battle for Naperville. I have not... I have not played this game in a very... Very long time. Like... I think, actually, I think I touched it once a couple of months ago, but other than that, it's been like a year and a half. And is it weird to say that this is actually a bit nostalgic? Because, like, whether you like it or not, like, at least whether I like it or not, this game was a part of my childhood, even though it's, like, not that good. Like, it came out in 2019, so I was 14 or 15 when it came out, and I'm 19 now. Time flies. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to see if I can jump into a multiplayer match. I have no idea if I can because servers on PC are kind of dead. Um, I guess I could do this satellite takeover. People to seem to play these special game modes a lot more. The audio is so ridiculously loud in this game. Jeez. Hey, one thing I will give this game is that the graphics are beautiful. The animations are very fluid and snappy and everything just like works really quickly, but that's also one thing I don't like about it. Like, Garden Warfare 2 had this very, like, sort of, like, janky, almost more realistic physics. Like, you, you'd you move around how you'd expect the characters to move around. It actually felt like you were in that 3D space. This game, it just feels like it's, like, these, like, cartoon characters almost, and I don't really like that as much. And also, they removed variants, so, I mean, that's also horrible. Um... I don't know what any of these do. I guess rough patch. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna play All Star because that's a character I know to play. Unfortunately, I don't have tennis skills. Let's see how many. Oh, they are all robots. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have about like three or four actual players on here, which kind of sucks. But it's just like so weird. I haven't played this game in so long, and having the sprinting is so odd too. It just does not feel like a PvZ game. Like, it's so weird feeling. This wildflower. I have to admit, the weapons and everything feel really nice. Like, All-Star just feels great. Although, I mean, sprinting is gonna probably annoy me to no end by the end of this video, but... We'll see, we'll see what happens. I could enjoy it thoroughly, or I could... It could be, like, the worst experience this year. Yeah, nice... Yeah, see? There it is, right there. He's gonna sprint away. Like, bro, just fight me! Fight me one-on-one! -on -one. <laughs> Why do you need to sprint around the corner? How have we not captured this yet? That nice sprint tackle's still broken. What about imp punt? Not as much. Not as much, and I have six health. Can I get to the thing? F? Why is it F? Why is F the keybind for that? Hold up. Why is it not E? That is horrible. <laughs> oh, chomper. That was kind of instinctual. See, one thing I do like is that they remove the stupid, um... I actually just lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was gonna say. Um... Oh yeah, they remove the stupid, like, you have to buy pots and bots and other spawnables. Also, that is ridiculously fast. They just made it so everybody gets one by default and then they regenerate over time. I thought I had a freaking impun. I don't know what I just did there. That was really dumb. I am seeing so far that All-Star feels pretty nice. Another character I did like to play was... 80s action hero is pretty fun. Um... Ooh, that's gotta be OP. Fearless. Regenerate health near enemies. That's, like, stupid. So, like, if you're getting actively shot at, do you just, like, keep regenerating? Because that's actually dumb. 
80s Action Hero is a character I like to play, too. I mainly played this game on Xbox, actually. I don't think I ever really played it on PC. Like, this game in general, like, I... I think I touched it, like, a few times on P Like, my... I had an old laptop when I first got this game, and I owned it, I think. I think I owned it on PC. I might have. And it did not run well. My laptop couldn't even run Garden Warfare 2. Which, I mean, to be fair, Garden Warfare 2 is a pretty... Physically taxing game, so... Physically taxing? <laughs> um, it's fa it's taxing on your computer. It's not physically taxing in your body whatsoever. Um, yeah, I did not use that crypt at all. Okay. I like being able to see th people through walls, though. That's really nice. Come on. Oh my gosh, you can cancel Feng Fu with that. That is ridiculous. I'm going to die. I'm gonna die! I like sniper characters, so why don't I just like play Pyro for a minute? Gotta like add upgrades to all these characters. Just random ones, I guess. I don't like, I haven't, pl I don't think I've played this game like once. <laughs> I think I played it on this computer like one time. Or I'm a sniper, I can't just like... What? What? I was in my barrel! Please somebody tell me that that's not a feature, right? They... Are you serious? They remove the ability to be in your barrel to ignore the barrel. That is so dumb. That was like one of the things that made pirates so good is that all of his abilities countered Chomper in some way. Oh, you're dead. Oh, I suck! Okay, I got him. <laughs> oh, you're dead. <laughs> you are so dead. I like this ability. I like that they replaced the walls with, like, a... A movement ability. Because that was something that the sniper characters were seriously lacking, was any sort of movement. And they actually tailor the characters really well, like... With Pirate, you would actually want, like, a more forward-leaning movement ability, right? Like, you'd want it to move forward more, because you got the shotgun, you got the barrel. They're more, like, relying on you to be close range at times. And then Cactus, like, of course you'd want an ability where it only takes you up to height, because Cactus performs best when she has high ground. I mean, so does Pirate, but he can, he can perform a lot better than Cactus at close range. Um, I want to get into this thing. It's so janky, like, it just doesn't, like, doesn't feel like it's actually doing, doesn't feel like it's aiming where the cross is aiming. Um. Ooh. You're dead. <laughs> I feel like Pirate and Cactus are really unfair in this. Like, 99, did they really need to make it so they could do... One shots to nightcaps, near one shots to sunflowers and roses. Like, did they really need to do that? I don't think they did, personally. And then they give him a stupid barrel with a... With an upgrade that, um... Is very overpowered. The incoming keg one. Where you get in the barrel and it goes like 90 miles an hour. I couldn't figure out how to cancel it. I'm gonna have to look in the keybinds or something. Ooh, nice, okay. Oh, uh, got him. Let's go. I'm a camping little B-word. <laughs> Pirate feels so stupid in this. That's one thing that'll always be consistent about Pirate is he's just good in every game that he's in. Pirate's just a well-designed character in general, honestly. Jeez! That ragdoll was nasty. Uh, what, 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 what? Oh yeah, it has like a meter now. I forgot about that. I mean, they kind of butchered the shotgun, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh wow, I actually predicted that really well. <laughs> Give me up! 
Honestly, this game isn't half bad. This is actually a pretty decent experience. I mean, I've been playing Garden Warfare 2 for so long that, like, having a rehash of the same game is actually pretty fun. It's, it's a different experience for sure. I wouldn't say it's as good as Garden Warfare 2, but at the moment, I'm enjoying it a bit more because it's so novel. Like, I haven't, like, really legit focused on playing this game in, like, probably three years when it first came out. Like, I hopped on it from time to time, but, like, I would never actually play it that seriously. Oh, you're dead! You're dead! Woo! No! That doesn't work! I was gonna get in the barrel. <laughs> no, that doesn't- what am I on about? Will this make me move faster? Oh, hardly. Oh, I could potentially get a few kills here. Okay, just one. That's fine. Oh, come on! How are you not- I thought I did a fully charged one. I guess I didn't. There's another character I like in this game. I like Slide. Electric Slide's fun. I might as well play some of the characters I can't in, um, Garden Warfare 2. Because, you know, they don't exist. I got Thanos snapped out of existence. Imagine Garden Warfare 2 with Electric Slide, 80s action hero, and uh, Space Cadet. I kind of forgot Space Cadet existed. That was when I played a lot. I was pretty good at Space Cadet, actually. Slide's just a pretty good character, too, isn't she? I'm assuming she has very frequent ability spam with this kit. For sure. Does this do damage? No, but I can push him around. I know one strategy I used to do before they, I guess, nerfed it or like, they did something to it, is I'd use Malfunction. And there's a thing you could do where you would shoot and spam reload. And basically what Malfunction does is it does 25 damage every time you reload. At least that's what it used to be. And I think they nerfed it so it didn't do it every time. Also, what? What was happening with that chomper? But I just jump into people, spamming the reload and shoot button, and it would just do bursts of 25 damage. It was actually like a pretty decent strategy. It didn't out DPS her, but it was just like a meme strat that you could do. But unfortunately they like nerfed it or something. Cause I remembered it stopped working. I find it kind of funny. They just stole a scientist ability and just pasted it on electric slide. I mean, it works pretty well for the character. You're dead. Yeah, I mean, one gripe I will always constantly have this, about this game is removal of variants. Because, like, I was always somebody would... Like, I would religiously not touch the, um, non-variant characters. Like, any character that was just a stock, like, flat character, I wouldn't touch him. Unless it was, like, stock foot soldier, because, like, he's just that good. I wouldn't touch him because I'm like, oh, they're just worse characters. They're just worse or less fun. Which, maybe the less fun part is true, but they're literally meant to be the best all-around characters in the class. I horribly mistimed that. But yeah, now I'm on my opinion on, um... Come on, come on. Okay. Now my opinion on playing stock characters has changed. Like, I realize that they're probably the best characters in each class. But... I would be lying if I said it, like, a game would be good without them, like, no. Let's see what BFN became. No variants and it's just boring. Like, yeah, sure, everybody has, like, the same sort of tools to work with, but, like, it's not fun. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what is the point of that? The whole point is that we took over this place to raise a giant... Five million foot pull out of the ground with a one inch flag. What was the point? For what purpose? I mean, for as good as this game looks, I will say that, like, the character designs are very flat. Like, look at Space Cadet, and they butchered Cactus. Cactus just looks stupid. Engineer's design's pretty good, though. I mean, like, that fits him. Alright, I think I'm, like, all BFN'd out for the next probably six months. Like, I probably will not touch this game. Although this is a good map, I don't want to play it. I'm all BFN'd out. 
I think it's I think it's better if it's just one of those things I just touch every once in a while and then put back in the closet. Like I'm I'm done. <laughs> I've had my fix. So that's gonna call for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if if you have any feedback, and I will see you guys later. Bye. I was about to grab the thumbnail for this video, and then I remembered this existed, and I gotta say, this is like one of the two fun things I had in this game. Like, this was peak. So I'll, I'll play a little round quick, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, jumping and ability is disabled, but you can still sprint. I'll do a round or two of this, see how far I can get. They really don't want to pick this square, huh? There we go. Imagine if I just died there. <laughs> it's always the best strategy is just to pick one square and stay at it. And then go back to it after it gets zapped. I've always loved like movement mechanics like this in games. It's always so fun to just do like the little It's basically parkour if you think about it Although I suck at like say like minecraft parkour I suck at that. Oh, come on. I was off the square. I was off of the square. Come on Did I get money. Oh, I get a thousand. Oh, yeah, there was like there's an afk thing you could do you get imp right on top of that little light right there. I remember that. And then it, this would keep going and you could farm coins. But then they made it so it uh, stopped giving you coins after like, I think like 20 rounds or something. So you couldn't farm it anymore. But yeah, it was like, it was the most potent coin farm in probably any PvZ franchise. Because if you just set your thing to private, nobody could push you off. And it server would probably never reset. I don't think they would. And you would just be able to go forever. Anyway, I'm rambling way too much. This video is already over, so, um, bye again. <laughs>